Sophia Schaeferas, how was the second rehearsal? Well, not bad, but the first one, I guess, was better. Okay. With the sound, with the light, and everything, so... Um, I hope the third one will be better. So what will you do now, until the semi-final? Um, we're going to rehearse, um, we're having an official rehearsal as well. So, and um, enjoy our stay here. How about your voice? Is is that okay? The voice is okay, everything with you? Yeah, yeah. We had a party yesterday, amazing party, George and one. Uh, and um, uh, I performed several songs and we were dancing, you know, and having a great time. So after that, I'm a little bit tired, but I guess that everything's gonna be alright. Yeah, could you tell us how it was to be at the opera, the, the Oslo Opera House? performing last night. Amazing. The, the place is so beautiful and um, we had many, many guests uh, from, uh, I guess, uh, from every delegation and um, we had a great time, really. Maybe I want to underline uh, the architectural aspect of the construction of the Christian Flags at Opera House. It's pretty beautiful and the concept is the tree from the and on our side, so we put our hands for the architect as well. The party has featured, of course the featured guest was beautiful Sophia with several songs and we also featured some contemporary music and Georgian traditional music and dance. What kind of songs? Uh, what do you mean? I mean, by Sophia's? Okay, Sophia, maybe you say it yourself. Oh, yeah, uh, and then tell you from uh, Dream Girls. Um, and we did with my girls, so so far in Atlanta, we did cover uh, for, uh, Alicia, Alicia G's song uh, and um, in three voices, um, the interpretation of the song, and uh, also Shine. Uh, can I have a little bit? You know, we have invited some people there and um, uh, we wanted uh, the guests to feel like they were in Georgia. So we went in with Georgian music as well, Georgian traditional music as well, together with the contemporary music. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do we have someone who wants to ask some questions? Eric from Luxembourg. Hello. Hello. Well, you all made us very tired last night, but thanks for a great party. <laughs> um, um, yeah, you already answered part of my question was about the dancing part. An expert could see some of the dancers were dressed up by women, probably in typical Georgian costumes. Yes. And what all those knives or uh, weapons they're using? Because we saw them in 2007 when Sosa represented Georgia. I think it was quite similar. And uh, are they Georgian elements? Oh, well, in the costumes there are really Georgian elements, so it's done uh, red and white like Georgian uh, flag uh, with the Georgian crosses here, so um, uh, also one dressed in red color, but this year we're going to be without knives. <laughs> As they're usually, 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 you know, Georgian thing. Yes. So yesterday the dancers, Georgian, wearing the knives and so on, yeah. But, and also it represents, the knives represent the strength and uh, how strong Georgian men are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this year we're going to be without knives. Maybe I should add a little bit more about the Georgian dance. In Georgian culture and tradition is something that makes Georgia a unique place to visit. And Georgian culture has been evolving and outlining the strong identity of the country. So Georgian dance that you have so was kind of a genuine version, of course, a little bit stylized and accessorized by the ensemble Arisi on the ensemble who are really popular over the world. They just touring different countries. But uh, what is specific about Georgian dance is it makes a history living. So it brings the history of every uh, part of Georgia. Georgia always provided a diversity of the culture. Okay, so it, the Georgian dance makes the history of Georgia. We have dances on there, right? Do you have, do you dance the Georgian dance with a woman on stage as well? No, no, we will not see anything on that on stage. Not really. 
we would love to <laughs> dance with the Georgian dancers. They would love to. Francesca, she would love to. She would love to. Oh yeah. Do we have? Yeah, we have a question on it. My name is Charles from Germany, and I want to congratulate you for the very, very wonderful choreography of this uh, song. Uh, it's amazing to see the uh, women fly through the air, and uh, that's great. But I have another question concerning the red and white uh, uh, choreography of the stage and of the dresses and of the whole style is in Georgian style. Is it an, a, a kind of statement to say Georgia is back after a year of absence in the Eurovision? Absolutely, yeah. We, we tried to do a Chinese comeback. Um, that's why um, um, one of the best uh, choreographers in the world is doing Gaga choreography. And, uh, um, I think that uh, Georgia will be impressed by this, you know, uh, choreography directly and uh, also, yeah, we, we did the um, whole directing in the colors and Georgian colors to show that our country is still, you know, developing in every sphere of life and uh, is uh, shining and um, growing up and up. So, uh, we wanted to show that Georgia is a very, uh, it's a fantastic a uh, place with very warm people and um, 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 we wanted to show the best things of Georgia. That's it. Well, I, I would add a little more. This magnificent choreography that I absolutely adore uh, contains some Georgian, not elements, but hue, let's say, okay? We wanted to say that Georgia, well, uh, Georgia is back this year after the absence, but it is, it's too rough to say, okay, we've been always present in the world culture. So we are here with a good message and with the Georgian hue in our choreography and, and, and singing and performing. Other questions? Yeah, Alice the Bird from Australia in the radio. Hi, Sophia. Um, Hi. I have a question about uh, two years ago, Diana Gutskaya. Did you meet her? Did she give you any advice or tell you about your vision? And has everything been what you expected? Yeah, I know Diana very well. And uh, also, I had to meet Soho Kawashi, the first uh, contestant of Eurovision from Georgia. Uh, she's supporting me so much, and Diana as well. And um, her brother was in Georgia several weeks ago before we came to Oslo. And uh, he gave, uh, you know, best regards for me and Diana. I was so, um, you know, uh, very happy to hear from her because I know her from uh, uh, Russia. So, um, she's uh, really amazing, uh, uh, not only performer, but a uh, very good person and software as well. So I would like to thank them for supporting it, uh, to, for being with us. Um, have you been able to, to meet Hanna Sero, the Norwegian uh, songwriter, while you have been here in Norway? Um, I've been contacting the, you know, through internet and uh, um, she's very talented, I, I, I would say multi-talented girl uh, and um, uh, unfortunately we didn't meet yet but um, she'll be back in two days, she's not in Norway now and we're gonna have a special meeting for, uh, with her and with Nidrick as well <laughs> to be, you know, a thrill uh, composer and to uh, different countries representing her song. 